I'm just going to follow instructions. So Sarah asked me to sweep the studio floor, and I like her, and I take direction well, so here I am. But Sarah, I'm hoping there's a pot of gold at the end of this. I have some schmutz. Are we talking hacks? Okay, yeah, not quite a pot of gold, but there is a hack, hopefully. This is something that I saw online that we're going to try for the first time together here, okay? Okay. So you know when you're sweeping and there's that little line that's left on the floor after you so put annoying. it in your dustpan? So annoying. Mm -hmm. Put a piece of tape across the bottom of your dustpan. Okay. And then smooth it across the floor. Oh, and it all oh that's satisfying. Out. Isn't that good? Yes. And then, let's say there's a tiny bit left behind. <laughs> works so well. <laughs> but I mean, you get you get most of the line on there. I think you just have to maybe very gingerly pick it up off the floor when you're done. I think so. I think right? you just have to be a little bit more gentle when you're peeling it up. But you know what you can do with these little extra pieces? Is ah, just dab your tape. And they're gone too. Hair. All the <laughs> hair, right? Ooh. Okay, I like that one. You've got more uh, hacks for us. And quite frankly, I'm zeroing in on the wine here. <laughs> I don't know what it's about, but I like where this is going. Okay, so this is another one. Again, I have not tested this before, but okay. earlier today, I spilled a little bit of red wine on this yeah. runner. And the rumor is shaving cream will remove it. So you have a white, like, linen napkin. You've got red wine on it, and you're Oops. spilling some more. Oh, Oops. my gosh. And you're what using shaving cream. And then you just put some shaving cream on. Okay. I saw that you're supposed to leave it for about 15 minutes. Okay. So I did. Are we ready to yeah. see if this actually works? I, can I make my prediction? Yeah. I don't think it's going to work. Okay. It's red wine, for crying out loud. Wait a minute. This, a this was all, I mean, I think I probably should have rinsed it sooner. But it's not, it's not red anymore, but it's also not white. Right. Yeah. So if you put, this is what we hear all the time with stains. And what Marilyn just said, you got to do, get to it right away. Yeah. Right? Get mm -hmm. to it right away. And then maybe that works. Yeah. I okay. Mean, I'll give it a rinse, but I yes. don't think it would be my first choice. Maybe not. For red wine stains. Maybe not. No. Okay. So we've looked at a couple of hacks. Now we're going to talk about a few of the things that we've been doing wrong when we clean. Like you've got some tips for us here, starting with that toilet seat. Okay. I think we can all agree that cleaning toilets is the most disgusting task at home. But you know what? Even if you are doing a really good job cleaning your toilet, it may not smell all that great because you're not getting in every single spot. Yes. So the thing that people are doing is they are removing their toilet seats. Just taking it off completely. Taking it off because you can, these clips that are on the back yeah. lift up and there's often a bolt screwed into your toilet. Uh -huh. You just need a screwdriver and you take it off. Yeah. And then once you get over how disgusting that looks, because it's going to be so gross if you've never done it before. Oof. Trust me. Yeah. Then you just spray it with your, whatever cleaner you use. Yeah. Thoroughly dry it and then just put your seat back down. See, you make that sound so easy. Most of us are like, I barely have time to clean the washer, never mind take the toilet seat off. But if you can, that must be incredibly satisfying. Right, and like, I'm not talking every time. Maybe no. once a month. That's Let's right. for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. What have you got for us next? Okay, well, did you know that bubbles are bad for your bubbly? No. It's a thing. So I learned that the soap that you might use in your dishwasher or the rinse agents leave a residue on the inside of your glasses. Oh. And the bubbles of your sparkling drinks don't like that. They like to have surfaces to bounce off of. So okay. actually, I know it might sound a little weird, but if it's a little dusty, it's actually better. So you want to just soak them <laughs> in warm water okay. and dry them with a towel, and that's all you need to do. Oh, fantastic, yeah. because you know what? Preserve the bubbles, that's important. It's all we, about the bubbles. We want that to taste good. Yeah. Okay, next up, uh, we're gonna be talking about artwork. Yes. And cleaning it. Yeah, exactly. We've got some very unconventional ways to do that. <laughs> well, first of all, like when you're cleaning art that's behind a glass, it's so easy. You just yes. wipe it with a cloth, a duster, whatever. But you can't use something like this on textured canvas art because the particles will get caught or you might do some damage. Right. So I've got some, you know, drinks and snacks for you today. <laughs> okay. The weirdest thing I saw online was using bread. So you take the bread out of the fridge and you use it to clean the art how? Well, I take, you put your bread in the fridge? This Sometimes. I'm learning for, about you right now. Guys, I have like three loaves going on at the same time. <laughs> so one's That's out fair. and two are in the fridge. It's just to preserve their life. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> so this one's more for oil paintings. And I want to say, if you have priceless pieces of art in your home, don't do this. But Not on not, your Picasso. Exactly. You just give it a little rub and it apparently soaks up some of the dirt that's left on your art. Oh, very interesting. Okay, if you don't want to use bread. If you want to be a little safer, yeah. you can do that one there, Trace, if you want. You use a paintbrush, a dry, natural brush, bristle brush. Keep your art 
vertical and then you just work your way down like this really gently and you're going to remove all the breadcrumbs and whatever else might be on your art there. And it's just very simple and gentle um, an effective way to get rid of all that dust that might be sitting on there. Make sure your brush is clean, obviously. Use and are these uh, Saragun Originals? These ones are not. They're not you. No, uh, I didn't bring my I own. I know. Art. I should have. Thank you, though. Come on, self-promotion. I know. <laughs> Finally, uh, are we going to talk about the duster? Well, you know what we're going to talk about? This. Okay, so what's in there? Uh, I'm almost afraid to say this, but museums and art galleries, mm -hmm. believe it or not, use saliva to clean the artwork. Like their own saliva? Their own saliva. <laughs> Because there are enzymes in the saliva yeah. that are not harmful, but they are helpful in cleaning your art. So you just use a cotton swab. Yeah. I'm not telling you if this is actually saliva or not. So You're gross, just have because to how guess. much spit would that be? That's a lot. <laughs> Come on. That's a lot. And you just, whatever Ew. area is dirty, and you just. So you know what? You can't it. touch art at the museum anyways, and I never want to. <laughs> now that I know that. You can see it works, though. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so cleaning is a, is a thing that we all got to do. Well, most of us anyways. And Tracy P., you're actually a very good cleaner. We've talked about this before. You don't like it. But I you're, hate it. But you're I good at it. doing it. So is there anything when you look around your place and you think to yourself, I really don't want to have to clean this? Like the thing you hate cleaning the most or you're just like you want to put it off? My closet. Oh. My closet, it's just, it's a, I have a you. lot of clothes. And this is not me bragging. Yeah. Only 50% of them fit me. <laughs> from three sizes ago and then you hang it and you hold it up and you're like I could get into this if I went on a diet or maybe I'll gain weight and I'll keep this one that's way too big like you know what I mean I have things that are too big too small and then I yes. created another beauty room in my house right that was just another place to store clothing so I have clothing stored all over the house and like I said only 50% of it fits me if I were to just really go in there and clean that up yeah. I would have so much storage space oh I just gosh. keep folding my jeans putting them in there folding them putting them putting them adding and adding and adding to it but I wanted to say something about the saliva that one yeah. is a true thing because it's true for makeup as well yeah nothing removes makeup as well as saliva oh but it's still spit it is I'm still spit I'm sorry <laughs> ah, thank you T thank you Sarah really good tips and since we're talking so much about the home I just want to give HomeSense a shout out for the decor in our studio home